everyone, this is George from Pageant and Press and in today's video we'll be discussing the latest news regarding Miss Grand International 2024 that was posted this morning. So I'm not that surprised with the news, which I will let you guys know. So I woke up in the morning, so I'm, I'm based in Thailand, so when I woke up in the morning, I went to Instagram and there was an announcement, official page of Miss Grand International regarding the changes of plans. This year we had two countries as the co-host for the Miss Grand International 2024, starting with Cambodia, so the first part of the competition, about two weeks, the contestants will arrive in Cambodia on the 3rd of October, so that's exactly four days ago, as we are on the 7th of October. So they will be staying in Cambodia until the 15th of October, and after that they will be flying to Bangkok, and they will do the promenade competition and the final competition in Bangkok, Thailand, which I'm also going by, because I'm really excited to meet you guys if they're going to the final of the Scrum International. However, due to the latest news of things happening in Cambodia, due to the organization unable to fulfill the requirement by the hosting country, they have moved it from Cambodia to Thailand. In this video, I'm focusing more on the Khmer organization from Miss Grand Cambodia who are responsible to have the fulfillment to make sure that they are doing a great job as a host country, treating the contestants properly and also give them great production. This is not about Cambodia itself because I think Cambodia has a beautiful rich history, beautiful culture, tradition, great costumes, I love the Apasara dance that they have, it's very intricate, elegant. This video is about the organization from Miss Grand Cambodia who had the responsibility to be the host country and they had taken up the tots to make sure they were the pre-activities were done correctly and they had sightseeing around different parts of the Cambodia, making sure the contestants are treated properly and also responsible behind the production of the pre-activities held in Cambodia. So this video is not about the country, it's more about the organization responsible to be the host country for Miss Grand International. As we all know, Cambodia is a beautiful country, rich in history, arts, culture, tradition, and they have beautiful Apsara dance, which is world-renowned. And we all know that Cambodia is one of the most beautiful countries out there, blessed with natural beauty and a lot of different things aspect. This video is not about the country. However, this video is directed towards the Khmer organization who have the responsibility behind hosting the pre-activities held in Cambodia. So please understand that. The first official day for Miss Grand International was in October 3rd where a lot of the contestants had already arrived in the host country of Cambodia where they were wearing beautiful costumes where they own, of course, official sash by the National Passion Organization from their respective countries. So it was a really fun activity. We got to know a lot of the contestants. We were just having a really fun time getting to know each other, trying out new foods in the host country so it was a really good opportunity. The second day was the sashing ceremony where all the contestants got the official Miss Grand the golden sash with the country's name on it and I must say after looking at the production quality of the sashing ceremony I had raised some questions, I had some concerns and because it didn't look that great. I have seen the previous session ceremony, the previous edition of Miss Grand International hosted by Vietnam, Indonesia and Thailand. From the session ceremony you could see they were very grand, extravagant, luxurious, rich and it felt that we were watching an international pageant as it had an international standard with a very luxury feel to it and that is exactly what Mr. Nawad is talking about when he says he expects a lot from a host country in terms of production. However, we didn't get to see that in Cambodia as the red carpet, it looked very poorly made. It was not well executed. The stage looked unfinished. The camera angles looked quite blurry. It was not clear. It was not HD. I, as a YouTuber, my responsibility is to give you good quality production. And I feel that as a host country, especially as a host organization, you have the job to make sure that the people, especially the queens, are treated properly. They are queens for a reason. They have trained really hard for this moment. So when you go there and you see a very poorly made stage, which only has red carpet that looks unfinished, it's poorly made, obviously the first impression is not great. And I think this is something that the Khmer organization for the Miss Grand Cambodia fail to recognize that the first impression really counts as these girls don't know much about your country. So the first thing you show at the welcome dinner and the session ceremony was not that great. And we talk about Miss Grand International, they know exactly what they're doing in terms of production and entertainment, music, lights, camera, action. This was the first mistake done by the Miss Grand Cambodia organization. Number two was sightseeing around different parts of Cambodia which I thought was pretty decent. They just showed the historical parts of Cambodia, talking about the history, which I thought was pretty good. And I don't have any complaints about that. 
And the second error was last night's dinner cruise event, which I thought was, I was just traumatized. It was bombastically bad. I think they had very bad time management, especially the quality check from the management team of the Miss Cat Cambodia organization. Because first of all, that is not a dinner cruise. I will show you the pictures. I will not even go there with my friends or my family to have a dinner cruise, which I have done that previously in Bangkok. And I've actually done a lot of boating and cruising especially going on a boat from mainland Thailand, like Pattaya, to go to the Koh Lan, which is a tiny island. And that boat was a lot better quality than what we saw. And I have also been to other cruises and a lot of boats in the southern part of Thailand, luxury cruise, which the contestants will have the opportunity to do that once they come to Thailand. And this pictures on the screen, the videos we saw yesterday, it left me traumatized. I was really shocked and disappointed by the Miska Cambodia organization being unable to fulfill the requirement, especially the safety and health hazards for the contestants. There was no life jacket on the boat. There were no barriers to make sure no contestants falls off the boat. And that is actually not a dinner cruise boat. That is not a luxury boat. As I will show you on the screen, these are from Miss Grand International previously held in Vietnam. It's a good example of a luxury cruise where people can have dinner, just enjoy this moment, go out with your friends, your families, and enjoy the sightseeing of the beautiful host country. They had similar events, but they were able to manage to make it luxury, spectacular, elegant and sophisticated. There were no issues regarding Indonesia or Vietnam hosting the pageant because they had the revenue, they had the sponsorship, they had the money, financial ability to really back it up. And this is something I really want people to know, especially before bidding for becoming a host country for any international pageant. As number one, you have the resources and number two, you have the sponsorship. As we all know, pageantry is not cheap and it costs a lot of money to make sure that it is a spectacular event. As the host country, you have the responsibility to make sure that you're investing a lot of financial abilities, especially money back in from the sponsors, including the government. I feel really bad looking at the live stream. There were a lot of safety hazards. There were a lot of bad protocols. How is the Khmer organization expecting us to respect them or give them the credit when they're incapable of giving them good quality standards? There were no stairs. There was no lights to get from the mainland to the boat from the dock. And that is so bad because what if some girl slips and falls into the water? There's a lot of safety hazards that they're incapable of practicing. They need to have quality check, management check. Everything needs to be up to the top tier, golden quality. If you're having an international passion, you cannot just say, okay, we are there, we'll do the pageant, that's it. No, it doesn't work like that. Also, there were plastic chairs. Plastic chairs is so 1990s. I have seen that in maybe in my family's parties back like many, many years ago. It's not something you expect in a luxury, golden standard Miss Grand International. I'm really happy that Mr. Nawad took that decision as a boss that he is, that you know what, this is unacceptable, this is unethical, this is unprofessional, that the Khmer organization have been unable to fulfill the responsibility, the requirement that they have promised to Miss Grand International organization. So we're going back, we're pulling up the passage from Cambodia back to Bangkok, Thailand. In place of going there a week later, we're going a week earlier on the 7th of October. So they're at the moment, as I speak in this video, they're coming back to Thailand. And you know what, this is probably the best decision Mr. North could have made to pull out from a pageant earlier so the contestants don't have to have that bad poor treatment that they were deserving of suffering so much for the past four days in Cambodia and this is not because of the country this is because of the lack of sufficient funds by the sponsorship by the Cambodian organization and once again I repeat this is not because of Cambodia because Cambodia has done a fantastic job of doing production and Miss Globe and also Universal Woman which both of them were equally really well done in international standard so it's not because of Cambodia not being able to do that it's because of the organization the Khmer organization who are not able to find enough sponsorship enough funds to really back it up the competition so for me I'm really happy that now the contestants are back in Thailand and they will really be able to enjoy the moment as Thai culture is really rich Food is delicious, it's one of the best food out there. The contestant will truly be able to enjoy every single moment of this experience. Meeting the contestant a lot earlier than I expected. I don't live in Bangkok, but I'll be traveling really soon to see the contestants. I'm really excited to meet Malaysia, Indonesia, Supernova, of course, a lot of the other contestants like Spain, India, Rachel Gupta. There's so many other contestants. I'm really eager to be waiting to meet them in person. And you know what? This is a very good decision by Mr. Nawad. And I saw the post in the morning. It was an official statement that they are moving from Cambodia to Thailand. And I think this is a 
great news to see because if a country, especially if the country's organization cannot handle such a big event like Miss Grand International, then you should not be the host country. So whoever will be the host country for the next Miss Grand International, please check everything, check background check, make sure you have the sponsorship, you have the funds, you have the finance to really pull out a spectacular show for Miss Grand International 2025. I would like to give a quick shout out to Ivan Gunavan, the National Director for Miss Grand Indonesia and also the founder of Make a Pink Bank. He is an Indonesian business entrepreneur with a lot of businesses and companies under his name and he's doing a spectacular job. He's really contributing a lot into the investment of his country by giving them financial security but also at the same time making sure that we're really having a good enjoyment, fun moment in Indonesia for Miss Grand International. In the end I just want to say my love and support to Miss Grand International organization, to Uncle Nawad, Madam Teresa, Luciana Fuista from Peru, Queen and all the contestants of Miss Grand International. I support you for your professionalism, how you treat your contestants like queens to have a best once in a lifetime experience where you give them spectacular, luxurious and this rich experience. I am so happy to be part of Miss Grand International, watching as a pageant fan and for the first time I will also be experiencing it in person. I'll be going to Bangkok, Thailand to watch the pageant. So I look forward to seeing the luxury and the elegance and the sophistication of Miss Grand International because we are one the one and only. In the end, what do you guys think of Miss Grand International Organization moving from Cambodia to Thailand? Do you agree or do you disagree with this decision by Mr. Nawal and the Miss Grand International Organization? If you enjoyed watching this video, then please make sure to click the like button, click the red subscribe button to see more videos like this and also I have a podcast coming up soon in the middle of this week which is the third episode of Pageant Everest Podcast where I invite different guests from around the world. So let me know who do you want to see as my third guest for my podcast where we talk for a long contest, it's like an hour plus content as I love talking about pageant check and go on and on and on. So thank you once again for watching this video and also share this video on your social media. That would really help me to promote this channel more. If you have any pageant videos that you want to see from me, you can make a request or suggestions in the comment section. That would really help me to build this pageant community even more. In the end, I just want to say I'm really grateful and appreciate this moment because I know that I have the platform to really share my opinions with everyone watching this video. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity. So thank you everyone for watching this video and I hope to see you guys once again in my next video. So see you from Pageant Express.